All right, so good to be back. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Setson. Today, I want to show you how you can put your video inside text in DaVinci Resolve. But before we get into that, I just want to remind you to hit that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment, and that will go a long way in helping this channel to grow. All right, so without much further ado, let's jump into our tutorial. Okay, so we're going to need a few resources that we're going to use for this particular video. The first thing that we need is we need a video. I'm going to say for free videos over here and as you can see we have mixed kit and we can go to this and we want to search for a video and so the video that we're going to use is this one so you would need to click on that video this is the video and you can come up here and then you can click this and download the video i've already downloaded this video and so uh, you can go ahead and do the same the other thing we need is obviously we need davinci resolve and so we're going to download davinci resolve and so you need to search for davinci resolve and then the first link that shows up is black magic design uh, this are the owners of DaVinci Resolve and so you need to double click that to take you to this page and you want to uh, click on this download arrow so click on that and then you have options so here we have the free the free version and then the paid version the studio version is the paid version so you want to download this free version so depending on the platform that you're on so you can go ahead and click one of these buttons and then you have your DaVinci Resolve downloaded to your computer once you have that then you need to run the installation is going to be straightforward and that's all we need and then after we finish then we can open our DaVinci Resolve and so which which I'm going to do here double click on DaVinci Resolve all right so once you open DaVinci Resolve you will be presented with this window right here which is the project window so on the project window I'm not going to be talking much uh, you can hover over here uh, expand that or minimize that but that's not important you see here we have local network cloud uh, that's not really important make sure you're on local and then you want to create a project for us to to create a project we can go to this untitled project double click on that or but you can look at the bottom right right here there is a button new project click on that and then you have this dialog box uh, that will pop up and then you want to name your project so you can name it whatever you want video in text All right once you have that then you can hit create uh, create that and then it's going to present you with this window All right so the way uh, DaVinci Resolve is organized is organized into pages so you see down here we have if you hover over uh, you have media and you also have cut you have edit fusion color fair light which is the audio and then you have deliver so each one of these pages is specifically meant for a certain purpose for instance the media page is meant for importing your media the one that you want to edit the cut page is responsible for cutting the media into the clips that you want uh, for your uh, final project and then the edit is where you're going to edit everything you want to add titles add effects etc and then you have this fusion fusion is where you're, go you're going to add special effects you know onto your video color is for color you know you want to change the look of your video you want to enhance the colors and then this is the place you want to do it uh, this is for audio the fair light is for audio you want to enhance the audio remove noise and stuff like that this is where you want to work in and then eventually once you are done with everything you want to render uh, your project and then get the final output this way you're going to do it and so we're going to go back to the edit so I want you to go to the edit page so the edit page is also organized into panels um, you can see there are a number of viewers right here you can see this one is the source viewer so which means once you get your media so we have a media pool right here this is where we're going to import our media we can also import media right here um, um, in the uh, edit page and so this is where we're going to have our media we can view our media uh, using this panel right here so this one is called the source viewer and then down here uh, is what we call the timeline this is where you are going to do the actual editing this is where you're going to cut the clips add uh, the titles add the effects etc on the right of the source viewer we're going to have what we call the timeline viewer this is where we're going to view whatever we'll be doing in the timeline and so the first thing we need to do is go to this media pool which has got master right click in there import media so we go to our media which is this video here which we downloaded from that website 
click open and then this will pop up uh just hit change um and once we have that you can see our videos right here so this is the source viewer right so we can grab and drop this video in here so that we can see uh parts of this video maybe there's some parts that we don't want we can then check and see whether we want but for this video we want everything and so we don't mind about that we want to right click here and then create new timeline using the selected clip so we want to create a timeline so hit on that and then we can name our timeline we can leave it as timeline one or you can name it uh my video and then once we do that we can create the timeline once i hit create timeline you can see there's a timeline that has been created right here and also right here there's a timeline created and you can see now in our timeline viewer there is some action right there's something showing up which is this video right here in our timeline you can see there's a pointer right here uh in our timeline this is what we're going to use to move uh, along our timeline you can see this and so i can hit the space bar and then it's going to start playing uh, in the timeline in the end i can view it right here this is our timeline viewer right here all right so with that and then what i want to do is uh we want to move this clip up one level so i'm gonna move it up here so uh, right at the beginning there so that we create room for our text and the way this is organized is organized in layers and so this is up here and then this we're going to create another layer below that for us to create uh, a layer below that we need to go to effects and then go to titles and want to look for text which is custom title text plus hover over click and then drag and then you can see it shows in our timeline and then you release that and then we want to make this uh with same length as our video so we hover over it you can see once you see those double handles you can click and then drag until it matches your video and then you let go all right once we have that uh we can play there's nothing that has changed because we cannot see our text because it's underneath the video if we want to see our text we can disable our video right here click on that now it's this video is disabled now you can see our, our title here all right, so what we want to do is we want to change this. We want to customize this title. So I'm going to select this title right in the timeline and then go up here where it says inspector. So hit on that inspector. Now you can see we are able to change our text here. So I'm going to write TXT, TXT which is text uh, in all uppercase like that. And then I want to change that font. I want to look for a font called Stencil font. This one exactly. So once I have that, I also want to increase the size of this font. So I'll go to size and then click on that and then drag until I am satisfied with the text right there. All right. So we have our text. Um, uh, we are good and we can now go back to the video enable this video so i'm going to enable this uh, and then you want to select the video again go to the inspector now we are seeing our uh, options on the video so what we want to do is we want to go to the composite section of the video options all right so on composite if it's not already enabled um, you need to enable this so enable that and then you click on composite and then you need to drop down like that and then you what you want to do is want to change this composite mode so hit on that and then you want to go to darken once you hit darken you can see now our video shows inside the text all right so i want to thank you for your time i hope you enjoyed the video i hope to see you in our next tutorial for now i'm out bye bye